Uh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show to FLST, the tutorial that sounds like a drug, but, well, maybe it's as addictive as of watching it as it is maybe taking a drug that sounds similar, but I wouldn't really know, because FLST stands for Fruity Loop Studio Tutorial. That was quite a rather large introduction. I am your in... I am not your intro. Oh, where did all that go? Fucking jeez. Where's my shit gone? Beautiful. There it is. Ah, I'm your host, DJ Ignite. I'm not really a DJ, but neither are you. So let's get on. Get it on with. This is episode 2.2. .2. Recording a tune, beat patterns, and uh, recording in different tempos, quantizing tunes and beats, altering each note property, and placing the loop into a playlist. We might get into creating a song, but we'll see how we go for time, seeing as we only have 14 minutes left. So, recording in different tempos. These these points aren't actually in any particular order. So, let's start by making a little chord progression using FL keys and my MIDI controller which has decided to stop responding again. So, if this ever happens to you, by the way, you've got it all plugged in and it's detected it but it's not playing, just unplug it, plug it back in. And I have to scroll to select FL Studio and then you go rescan again and it should work after that. There we go. But it does take its time, so be patient. I'm gonna turn this down so you can still hear me over the over the top of awesomeness being made. And I'm also gonna turn this buffer length down a bit so it's more responsive. So <coughs> just like any other instrument, you can use your keys on either your keyboard piano, on your controller on a keyboard or on your actual computer QWERTY keyboard but I don't I have a controller so I'm going to turn that off and use my keyboard shortcuts. Now to record a pattern or record a song it can be in either song or pattern mode but um, for the sake of the tutorial we're going to be in pattern mode it's in pattern one at the moment you don't have to worry about any of this because we're recording now, when I press record, for you guys, a window will rock up saying, what do you want to record? Either an effect, an automation, uh, a plug-in, an instrument, or whatever. I just click on everything and don't bug me again, because when I record, I want to record whatever I want to record, because sometimes you might record something, and if you have a controller like me with uh, sliders and encoders, uh, you might want to adjust things while you're playing. And if you've only set to record, say, just sound, yeah, the encoders and sliders will be ignored by FL Studio. So just everything, it's perfectly fine to do it that way. But um, that's the reason why my little window doesn't show up. So what I'm going to do is it's going to count down. I'm going to have the uh, I'm going to have the countdown on, so it counts down to when I start recording, and I'm going to have the metronome on as well. And I'm just going to record a simple little chord progression going. Oh, that sounds pretty bad. What should I do? There we go, that sounds good. Yeah, that'll do. So, press play. Turn the record off, turn the metronome off so it doesn't bug me. Because if it's on and you press play. Now keep in mind, that's why a lot of recording in a pattern, if I go to song mode and press play, nothing. Because I haven't put the pattern in the playlist yet. Now let's double click on this, or alternatively, with the piano selected, click on this to go into the piano roll, or use a keyboard shortcut, which is F7, and you'll get the same thing. <coughs> Hold down the control and use the scroll wheel to zoom out. You can also drag that to scroll how you want. And also, there was a little box here, like this one, where you can do that and scroll in and out. But you can do the same with control. But anyways, so there's my little progression. It is out of time, as you can see. I want that to actually start over here and 
all that sort of stuff that was pretty badly done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt and press Q and that's going to quantize everything to each step. And you've got your quantizing settings here you can reset and whatever. So accept and now it's quantized to each bit of the graph but it's still not perfect yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this, press the E key to keyboard shortcut to the select tool, drag and select everything, press B or click that to select it. I'm just going to move everything in time. Now this is this can be quite time consuming if you have uh, lots of stuff to alter. Also, because my controller is plugged into a USB hub, you get these little things which are I call uh, lost data. And it and what happens is if you sometimes you'll play something and it'll only just play the beginning of the note but it won't play the rest and this is because a USB hub although it may be two point, a USB 2.0 it still has many things plugged into it and even if those things aren't being used um, it's still losing data because it's the USB I've got a seven port USB hub and that's seven, those, that's seven ports being funneled into one USB 2.0 so you're gonna get lost data but yeah, so now that I've fixed all that and it's all nicely in time, stop doing that. I'm going to press play. Oh, this was out. There we go. Fix that. Now, I remembered that I wanted this last chord to start earlier, so we'll try that. Copy and paste, there's our new one there, bang. Like with this one, I want this to start a bit earlier and finish on time. Now, if one of these notes is just a little bit over, the timer is going to keep going until the end of this massive graph. So if you don't have snapping on, or if it's, yeah, if it's off like that and it's just a tiny bit over, it'll keep going. So I'll turn snapping back on, and instead of trying to find where that is, I'm just going to quantize it all again, and that just fixed it. Beautiful. So that's our pattern that we just recorded. Now I want to put that into the playlist. Done. Very simple. So what we've just done is we've recorded something and then we've slapped it into the playlist which is the this will eventually become the entire song with a whole bunch of patterns all slapped together. Um, now what I'm going to show you now is how to um, change each note's properties. If you see at the bottom here there's these weird things with lines coming off of them that look kind of like flags I guess. Each one of these is a note being pressed and the height of it um, dictates its velocity or how hard I press down on the key. So if I turn all these down Alternatively, I can select all the baseline things, which just selects the baseline in the velocity, and I can turn them all the way up, leaving the rest wherever I left them. Also, up here, just next to FL keys, you've got velocity, pan, release, and unsupported parameters. So in panning there's that's left and right. I'm making a sign that for all the notes, all the notes that are just selected. Because I've still got that baseline selected because it's red, I can go left and right like this.
and you can create a bit more depth with that. Um, so that's it for pattern one. I'm going to go over to pattern two now by the putting my mouse over it and just scrolling up, or you can click and drag. And by the way, you can have up to 999 patterns, so you can spend you know a whole afternoon just sliding all the way up like that. Uh, that didn't take all afternoon, did it? But it doesn't reset back to uh, one after you get to 90, 999. Yeah, so you have to scroll all the way back down again. Now I want to have a kick that starts every second and a hat that goes for every first, every start of the beat. Actually, I'll just have the kick at the start there. I'll make it. There you go. And because pattern two is on, I can just go, ah. Oh, Oh, maybe I want another pattern one there right next to it. Instead of going back to pattern one, I can just see how I'm just dragging pattern two out. I can just click on pattern one, and that's it. Oh, I want another pattern two. I'll just click on that, and then, ah, oh, beautiful. Go to song mode, or press play over here. in a snare let's add in a clap for just the in-between of each beat just to fill in that drum beat make it a little bit more upbeaty ah, that sounds like shit right let's just speed the hat up a bit. We know that it starts on every first one in the first in the second pattern. So we're just gonna put it in between each one. I want a kick to fall in even the, in there somewhere just to make it sound not sound like as if I've just got the same patterns going over and over again. So yeah, what I've shown you here is I've used a whole bunch of different patterns. I've used up to seven patterns already just to create a, like a drum beat as well as making the drum beat progress throughout the song as well as a nice little crap ass shitty tune. So there you go, go through all my little patterns. Also, what I showed you in one of the other episodes was these graphs here. And once again, velocity here and velocity in the piano roll is the exact same. So I don't want that snare to just go da 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 I want it to build up. What I'm doing here is I'm holding down the right mouse button and you can drag a little line. And there we go. That's velocity, which is how hard the note is actually being played. There we go.
Alright, so that's our 15 minute timer. I did actually end up going into uh, the next episode, so I won't need to do that now, creating a song. Um, I know it does say, it, play, it says placing multiple loops into the playlist, which I just did, but it says including melody, harmony, beat and bass. So I've done the melody and I've done the beat and I've technically done a bass line. Uh, harmony we won't have to, we won't worry about. And fine tuning, I just did a little bit of that then. Uh, showing you the velocity here. Oh, my steam is on. That's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's not really, because that means people are going to keep bugging me now. So yeah, thanks for watching episode 2.2 .2 of the tutorial that sounds like a drug, FLST. I will see you again for episode 3.1, where we look into some effects and utilisation of different effects with this little song that we just made. So we'll slowly expand more and more on this song and see what we get in the end. Hopefully something a bit better than what I've just created. So thanks for watching once again. I will see you again in 3.1. Farewell for now.